All right. Ladies and gents, the Macho Man, Robot Savage, the People's Champion, has one last video to do today. Iggy Blade asked the Macho Man to make a Malkyrian sword build that'll proc as fast as possible. And I was also asked to show if I could make a Doomslayer style build, uh, sorry, fashion showcase. I did both at once. Now the Doomslayer fashion showcase will come separately. If y'all tell me in the comments of the video you want to see this outfit, Macho Man will deliver. Because the cream of the crop is always ready to serve the people. Now, let's get into this build, shall we? I'm going to show you how I do the Malkyrian sword. Okay, so here we are. Um, what I'll start with is by saying that the uh, Doomslayer outfit, basically I tried to get him to look exactly like the Doomslayer. Um, I would love to do a side-by-side -side picture comparison, but I don't think I have one. Um, oh yeah, I do I actually do, I actually do. Hold on. So, uh, I'll get that up for you now. Um... Okay, yeah, here it is. So, um, this was the Doom Slayer that I used as a reference. Uh, as you can see, mostly he uses the color green. And I tried to imitate the same thing. And the browns as well for the for the um, gut piece and the shoulder. So, that was in. And, yeah, he's got mostly green and browns on the, on the legs as well. So, that's basically what I did with the Doom Slayer. And I tried to make it as faithful as possible. So, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Okay, let's get into this build without wasting any further time. Cyclonic Fury is your Malkyrian sword. You've got your Predator Cell, Wild Frenzy Cell. Okay? Now you might be thinking to yourself, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Are you, are you stupid? Are, are, you, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb, huh? Why Predator? Okay, I'm going to explain this again um, in a way that will tell you that what I like with this build is to favor burst damage, okay? The reason why I favor burst damage is because you are using Avenging Overdrive. You shouldn't be taking hits. But I'll show you how to modify it, and I'll show the modified version in action as well. Um, I prefer burst damage, but again, if you feel like you cannot handle it, that's okay. I will show you how to uh, adjust it with Berserker, okay? So, Cyclonic Fury, Predator Cell, Wild Frenzy Cell, special is your Avenging Overdrive. Your mod is Recursive Hilt. Okay, you'll be using the Storm Sword as a bond. Now you might be thinking, wait, 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 wait. The 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 the, the, the Drask has a has thirty percent damage versus Behemoth Tails. Yeah, but Behemoth Tails don't stagger, and when you're solo, um, it's much wiser to get your Avenging Overdrive up fast. Okay, so you will be dodging, by the way, a lot, and this helps power your Avenging Overdrive, which means more DPS, more parrying, more everything. All right, that's why I chose the uh, um the storm sword instead okay then you've got your tragic echo usual rage discipline all right boreal resolve with uh, iceborne cell time weave gauntlets with a predator cell all right this gives you some overpower as well which is nice and boreal march with a wild frenzy cell overall what does this build oh sorry pangar's lantern with one conduit cell okay i really hate this lantern transmog why is it on all my shit fuck it i'll just yeah, I'll put this thing on. It looks like a Doomslayer artifact. Okay, so just to describe the perks, which I'm going to do now. Quick disabling of cam. You have plus six Iceborne. Okay, it gives you health. Uh, sorry, it gives you damage reduction, lifesteal. Predator for that insane burst damage. Rage for your baseline damage. Wild Frenzy. Okay, it gives you additional attack speed. You've got your Conduit. Okay, that's going to give you the... Um, Additional attack speed whenever using your Pangar to slow things down. Discipline, of course, additional crit, uh, crit chance. But again, you're not taking heavy advantage of that for a good reason. For a good reason. Um, this is not a crit focus build to begin with. All right. Energize, for which uh, comes with a Storm Sword Bond, and you've got Overpower. Now, if you are not comfortable with Predator, modifying it is very simple. Change this Predator cell, okay? to a toughness please use the one inside your your blade and i'll show you the reason why it's because this other predator cell will be changed to berserker all right this gives you 
um, the same Wild Frenzy, but now you've got more healing from the toughness and you've got a plus three Berserker. So you do lose out on 15% raw damage and you lose out on burst damage, but um, you gain on sustained damage as well as uh, self-sustain. So if you're not comfortable with the Predator, you can modify it very easily. Okay, but I'm going to show it to you with the Predator with some burst damage. I'm probably going to take a few hits because I'm not that good with sword, but you know, uh, it works in general. Alright, so let's get right into it. Let's not waste time. I'll go straight to um, Conundrum Rocks. Should be fine. Could do Brightwood as well, but let's go to Conundrum Rocks. Okay, Private Hunt. Here we go. We're going to an area about 5 to 8 levels higher. That's fairly standard for this type of build. And let me put the cam back on. For those of you that don't want to see the combat showcase, you can like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to drop a tip if you want to. You buy the link in the description of the video. All right. And if we get like 10 bucks, we will go do a like food food showcase with the Macho Man. Uh, real life food consumption video. Anyway, we'll be bringing the Macho Man back at the end of the video. So if you guys want to see him again, skip to the end. Otherwise, enjoy the combat showcase and then watch him in action. Because, you know, we do all of our announcements at the end now. With Macho Man! <laughs> Alright. I'm really getting into this, you know, like, I, I think I'm actually getting better at using the the Macho Man and all that. Okay, I'm frank with you guys, this is the only vid I've had to edit because uh, some annoying shit happened that invalidated the earlier footage. Anyway, we were starting off with level 13 Charog. Alright, you normally would not be in this situation, so please do not think that this is normal. Okay, I'm fighting a level 13 Charog with some level 5 swords and uh, this is obviously a very fucking bad idea. Okay, but just for the sake of the combat showcase, I'm doing it because I think it would be cool to see that in action. Now see, it procced the lightning right there and I actually wanted that to happen so badly just because um, I think it'd be cool. But again, you cannot hope for the lightning proc because no matter how fast you attack, that is usually not going to be the case. The lightning procs uh, also depend on the behemoth level and... Um, you're, you're, you are under level relative to these behemoths in the combat showcase, so that is not going to happen often. But where you are around the behemoth level, it is very possible to um, get a good proc going. Okay. And don't forget that because you're energized on this, you probably want to have your uh, avenging going for as long as possible. That's what I would do anyway. Now I d oh, wow. It procced again. But yeah, um, you want to trigger as many of your um, hits as possible, the more hits you do. So putting down this special is always very important because that crystal is going to help you. Now, you might die occasionally if you're fighting creatures way above your level like this. So my advice is please do not. Please be sensible. But I come here for the combat showcase because it is important to show um, extreme situations and how this thing handles in those extreme situations. Uh, at least for me, I think that that's a very important part of what we do. Oh, is it dead already? Okay, great. Yeah, so again, we're doing this with level 5 sword. And like I said, I, I'm actually reshooting this after a little mishap with the first one because snot. Let's put it that way. Lots of snot. Um, okay, and I don't think anyone wants to deal with that. Alright, allergies suck, right? Fucking rocks! Out of my way. Out of my way. Okay. Valmir. Nice, easy target. Okay, so again, most of the time you'll be up against creatures 2-3 levels higher most of the time. Um, that is for efficient leveling. You do not want to be up against creatures way over your level. Especially with Half-Life builds because you can take a hit or two. Um, as you might have seen in the Thrax vid, but Thrax Chainblade vid, but you don't want to go too ham. Alright, too ham is also a problem. Not enough ham, also a problem. You want to have just the right amount of subway ham. Okay, right, keep that in mind. Ah, okay, there we go. Procked into the lightning burst. So again, you wanted to get you want to get it proc fast, make sure you put this down. Okay, and then do your light attacks. Don't forget to counter where you can. So you can get a lot of lightning damage going. Proc the lightning again, so it stuns. Basically, like I said, with this build, 
not only do you attack fast, you also deal with things fast. This gives you some entertaining options. It really does. Honestly, should have just countered there. That was my bad. Nobody else's. Again, you see the lightning has proc three times already on Volumir. On very stationary targets, it's very easy to get the lightning buff to proc, which gives you free hits. Free Photowackens. Now, if you do take some damage, you can always uh, stagger it very quickly. Sorry, you can always recover it very quickly, stagger it very quickly. There you go, okay, that that should be good enough. Um, as you can see, this is effective, but again, you wanna be aiming for behemoths that are two to three levels higher, not the five ten that we not the five to eight that we do in the showcase. Again, it's just a showcase. Alright. So hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully, Yiggy Blade, you enjoy this build. It is fun, it is fast, it works well. There's an event which I'm probably gonna do at the end of this video, but first we gotta bring back the Macho Man. So ladies and gents, for those of you that enjoy my videos, the cream of the crop is gonna be doing a 12 hour stream on July 8th. We're gonna call it Omnimania, and I'm gonna reclaim the Dauntless Heavyweight Championship title. Now, don't forget, alright, don't forget, if you wanna support the Macho Man and his efforts, alright, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the People's Champion, the Macho Man Robot Savage. And if you want to, you can drop a tip via the link in the description of the video, alright, to make sure the Macho Man does his food eating video showcase, because we don't really have any other goals right now. I figured that'd be fun for you guys, alright? Let's see it happen, if we can. For now, I'm gonna go. I'll catch you all later. Stay macho, stay frosty, and look out for my community posts now that I'm a YouTube partner. They're gonna contain polls and other handsome shit with the macho man involved oh yeah